navigating shall I and should I, unveiling the difference. Hello, language learners. Today, we're going to unravel an interesting part of the English language, the difference between shall I and should I. These two phrases may seem similar, but they're used in different contexts and have unique nuances. So let's dive in and learn how to use them correctly. First off, let's start with, shall I? We often use this phrase when we're offering to do something for someone else. It's a polite and formal way to propose an action that we're willing to undertake. For instance, shall I open the window for you? Shall I call a taxi? Note that, shall I, is typically used in questions, where the speaker is suggesting a potential action. Moving on, should I, is used when seeking advice or asking for an opinion. It implies that you're uncertain about something and need someone else's input. For example, should I buy this dress? Should I take the job offer? Keep in mind that, should I, is often used when you're talking about a personal decision or choice. Now that we've covered both phrases, let's contrast them. While, shall I, offers to do something for someone, should I, asks for advice or an opinion. It's crucial to remember this difference to ensure you're communicating your intentions clearly. To illustrate this, let's look at a situation. Suppose you're with a friend at a restaurant, and the window is open, making the room cold. You could say, shall I close the window, implying that you're offering to do this for your friend. But if you say, should I close the window? It suggests you're asking if it's the right thing to do. And there you have it. We've dissected the difference between, shall I, and, should I. Remember, shall I, is an offer to do something, while, should I, is a question seeking advice. We hope this clears up any confusion and helps you enhance your conversational English skills. Until next time, happy learning!